that relativity can be assumed to be exact. In other words, gravity is assumed to be completely absent. <coughs> from this point of view, special relativity and all its consequences may be derived from a single simple postulate. In the presence of gravity, however, the approximate nature of special relativity may manifest itself. So the principle of equivalence is in the vote to determine how matters respond. Hey people, welcome to week 3 of 2017, and this week I noticed one of the benefits of the Arctic House is that I get to wear a scarf under my shirt, and it makes my traps look like they're enormous. Isn't that great? Ha, I love it. Uh, anyway, uh, this week we are working on 12 reps on the Saturday, Sunday, Monday strength volume work, uh, and everything went well this week. I think I mentioned at the end of last week that my right knee was feeling a little funny. Uh, but that mysteriously disappeared, as mysteriously as it appeared, so I am pleased by that. Something I am not pleased about, however, is that last week when I told you uh, it's 33 months until I turn 40, uh, there's a word for statements like that, and the word is wrong. Uh, I don't know how I managed to mess this up, but it's actually 32 months until 40. So, uh, yeah, so next month when we jump from, or appear to jump from 33 to 31, that's why, so... I don't know, maybe that's a sign that I'm actually getting old, you know, can't do simple mental tasks anymore. Yeah, so this week I was uh, doing some thinking uh, about the bench press, and uh, I was thinking about how I want to manage my heavy singles uh, throughout my uh, training cycles this year. And what I think I've settled on is, um, you know, I'm going to work um, basically from 225 up to around 235, uh, and basically... What I plan to do is just match the number of reps uh, for the number of the cycle that I'm currently on. So, for example, in this first cycle, I'm doing one rep of each each day. Uh, but obviously, that can't continue forever. So what I'm thinking might work well, and this may be a total disaster, um, is to, in cycle two, you know, hit go back to 225 and slowly work up. But each day, hit it for a double. And so I'm thinking, you know, by the end of the year... Uh, when I'm like on cycle five or six, that would be rather ridiculous if everything was to go well. So that's kind of the plan with that, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, hey, something I uh, need to tell you guys about is uh, actually last week I ran an experiment uh, in order to decide if I was going to add something to my routine on a permanent basis, uh, and that experiment went well, and I decided to add uh, power shrugs into my Monday and Thursday workouts. Uh, I'm actually going to show a clip of them on Thursday. Thursday's highlights, so hold off for a moment on that. But anyway, the point of the power shrugs is actually to overload the negative part of the movement. The point being that the negative part of the movement is known to cause more muscle damage and then subsequent muscle growth and repair uh, than the positive. So the idea is you use some leg drive to get the bar into the uh, top of the positive position, like uh, you're shrugged all the way up. And then you control the bar on the way back down while it's in the negative phase and stretching out the muscle against the resistance. And you can use this concept for other things. I've actually, um, even though I don't track it, uh, I actually started grabbing some heavier dumbbells and doing like cheat hammer curls and the same idea. I kind of swing the dumbbells up into the top position and then slowly unwind my elbow uh, so that my biceps can actually work against the resistance. I know, I know, I don't normally do biceps, but you know... Hey, it's hump day, by the way, so maybe I should do some biceps. Hey, <laughs> hey. Speaking of hump day, uh, heaviest squat of the week, 320. I thought this moved pretty well, and it was nice and deep and right up. And the cool thing about that depth, um, that actually feels like I'm cutting it way high, which is uh, kind of cool because uh, when you get used to doing high bar and front squats um, all the way down, um, when you actually just break parallel, uh, it actually feels like you're cutting it short, which is kind of and here on Thursday, main exercise of the day is a high bar pause squat with the belt on. And we got 300 here. I actually did 320 with this exercise while I was away. Uh, however, that was not the day following the heaviest squat of the week. So uh, we'll kind of see how this goes if I can get back to that number. And coming up here, we have the aforementioned power shrugs. Uh, one other idea that I have with it is to just give my grip more work. Because uh, as we know, my grip stinks. So I figure... Uh, the more work I can give it, uh, hopefully the better it gets because uh, 
as we found out last year, I can't hold on to the bar in deadlifts. Oh, hey, speaking of deadlifts, uh, I haven't shown any this year, uh, but right now I'm running a higher frequency model for those. I actually do sumos uh, twice a week, and I do conventional twice a week. Uh, as of right now, I'm just working with like 190 pounds, uh, like five sets of four. I think next week I'm going to bump that up to sets of five. Uh, but yeah, you know, again, just like with the uh, power shrug, trying to get more frequent grip work uh, in to try and fix, you know, that problem of not holding on to the bar, which in the deadlift is a huge problem. But anyway, here we go, double time for 20 reps on the bench, but we're going to close with mother, 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 the dodeca mother. And the volume update for this week, uh, good week, uh, 154 was the total for the week, uh, about 4,000 more than last week. Uh, a lot of that gain is because I'm, you know, getting more reps on my higher rep days. I'm getting back into shape with those. And the 2017 goals update screen, uh, pretty basic this week, uh, basically just updating 11,000 chin-up chase, we're at 766. And in the 7 million pounds chase, we're at 450,000. And this week's diet update, uh, yeah, basically came in right on uh, schedule with the calories, so that's good. And the weight is moving up uh, nicely, so that's actually good. On the path to obesity. All right, you guys, take care. I'll catch you next week. Bye.